Hi, this is my review of ERA the Consortium Free Trader. This is an expansion for the ERA the Consortium role playing game. This is the best way to focus your campaign on trading, piracy, smuggling, commerce, anything related that you can think of. It's all here. You have background information for the setting, but you also have rules related information. Now, let's talk about the quality of the PDF. Oh, and just in case you are not familiar with the Era the Consortium role-playing game, I'm going to put some links in the description below so you can check it out. The PDF is perfectly organized. It has bookmarks and hyperlinks, so it's going to be quite easy for you to move through the entire PDF. The graphic design is great, just like the other Era the Consortium books. Everything is well written and explained and with a few illustrations that represent the theme of the expansion. The quality is top notch overall. Now let's talk about the contents. This book contains a nice balance of lore and rules or technical related information. However, I think it leans slightly more towards the lore or background setting. Although you do have some interesting mechanics that do not alter the system dramatically, there's a lot of information that could serve as adventure seats or even as platforms for entire campaigns. Now I'm going to talk about the lore here in a somewhat loose way so that some spoilers are avoided because I think that this fiction can be enjoyed quite a bit if you do not know what's going to happen beforehand. The stories presented in Free Trader have to do with the type of situations that traders, pirates and merchants could find in their journeys. For example, what if the cargo you are transporting goes against your personal ethics or a sense of morality? You would have to decide if it's in the best interest of everyone to allow a cargo to make it to a certain point or if it would be better to just drop the entire assignment or commission altogether. However, that could bring some consequences with the ones that hired you. Even if you give them a refund, what if they are not happy with what you did and now you have new enemies? This also has to do with the difficulties of transporting all sorts of cargo. Maybe it's prisoners. Maybe you are moving a particular exotic beast from one place to another. It also talks about why certain characters could have engaged in a particular activities. You get to see the mindset of, for example, a pirate, very different from someone who is more on the legal side of things. So it's all here. You have reasons, the psychology and the emotional state of the different non-player characters as to what, why they are doing things. So this is great. Each of these places and non-player characters could be used in your campaign, you could build an entire campaign based around some of the events presented in the fiction. So this concerns everything in the universe department of the Era the Consortium RPG. Then you have information on cargo and shipping. Because if you are going to be moving things around, you need to know about the cargo capacity, the licenses, uh, details on counterfeiting and piracy. You also have a lot of information on how this could clash or go in harmony with the agendas of different companies. It doesn't go too much into detail, but you do have some key elements as to serve as guidelines in your campaign. So you have information, for example, on alcoholic beverages, chemicals and art, computers, engineered organisms, fertilizers, fixtures and fittings, you have details for each of these items concerning availability, legality, and minimum cargo size. So it's all here. You can get as technical as you want when it comes to the cargo, be it things that are alive or that are just objects. Maybe you're taking passengers or as I was saying, prisoners. Maybe you are transporting dangerous radioactive materials. Maybe you are moving textiles or even tools, weapons, etc. Then you have information on the different trading posts. The prices that you can get for the things that you are selling or the things that you are interested in buying 
vary quite a bit depending on the trading post even in the same planet or on the same area so for example if you are looking to buy or sell weapons you better avoid Tyrannis 1, 2 and 3 because those are illegal to be sold or purchased there so you may want to move to Adnoab 1 the free market region to see if you can make some winnings there or obtain the objects that you are searching for so each of these different ports they do not get too technical on describing how things are here rather each port has a small bit of fiction telling you about the types of situations that is through the different situations that the non-player characters are experiencing in each of the different trading posts you get a good feel or a sense of what happens in each trading post so each one feels quite unique some of them could feel slightly similar but you do have important differences in the prices how much you can get for certain things how much you need to spend to acquire other luxuries or supplies or tools so it's all here even if you are not carrying out an active free trader campaign even if you're just handling some sort of campaign unrelated to transportation or smuggling or merchandising it would add some flavorful considerations as to where the player characters are going to dock to resupply maybe they are low on a particular resource but if they just wait a bit until they get to the next trading post they could get things at a better price so this could add a bit more strategy when it comes to the journey or the travels that the characters are undertaking and the different encounters and situations presented in the fiction throughout this entire book fit almost any campaign that you can think of there are some violent situations those that are potentially violent as well there are some others that are pretty standard at least considering the trading type of operations that are carried out so this will supply ideas for any type of campaign or adventure it's quite impressive how they add so many posts where you can conduct different types of trading operations so you have places such as Orion the Outsystem Combine Bases the Auron which is a region controlled by Luke Chartered Records and so forth then you have more information that is more technical information concerning trading cargo the results that you can get when using your commercial skill that is depending on your level of success there could be some drastic price changes you also have information on docking fees uh, traveling through jump gates illegal actions as well the different standard punishments for for example dumping cargo or negligent collision or dropping debris or the destruction of unarmed vessels you can have a penalty or punishment for the destruction of Mercia's security forces as you can imagine the punishment could be quite severe you also have information on the type of process that is carried out when you are attacking someone else's ship if your characters are pirates or if you are being attacked by pirates you have the detailed boarding process and what happens uh, when the smoke clears out you also have additional information for the game master concerning cargo types traveling between stations everything related to passengers cargo trading and some more specific things all related to free trading so what do i think of era the consortium free trader this is probably one of the most useful expansions that you can get this is not as specific as for example rapier that is going to be more focused on hacking campaigns of going directly into the virtual or digital world of the corporations free trader is going to be useful in any campaign that you can imagine be it a military campaign or a merchant campaign or a transportation campaign or a pirate campaign anything it's going to be useful for everything and the fact that you have all the details concerning cargo and the different prices when you are buying or selling this is going to be useful for almost anything even if you are not actively engaging in moving questionable cargo or legal cargo there will always be different situations in adventures where your characters want to get the best prices on something on uh, ship weapons or something unrelated it could be food it could be some sort of uh, medicine or tools 
you could use the different prices as guidelines you could even have entire adventures if you wanted to lower or raise the prices of something maybe your characters can engage in some sort of operation maybe shady maybe illegal to perhaps drastically change the way things are sold or bought at a particular trading post or at several trading posts so i highly recommend free trader i also think that for example the detailed process of boarding a ship during uh, some pirate conflicts and all of the fiction the information on non-player characters the different situations that they experience in different posts or even as they are traveling through space in their ship i think it will be useful for any sort of campaign uh, lots of adventure seats and platforms that either feature a free trader moment during half of the campaign or less or more or even the entire campaign could be focused on free trading so this is a very flexible expansion and i highly recommend that you get this one well thanks for watching my review if you have any comments or questions please let me know see you later